Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks. Uh, here I'm opening uh, two boxes of uh, Topps Gallery. Uh, they were $80 each. I got them from the Walmart website because uh, still, by me, the Targets, the Walmarts, especially near my hometown, uh, have not stocked in two plus weeks. Um, I actually was able to order these off of, uh, Walmart.com. Um, you know, and shipping was free, so I just paid the you know the price of the actual products. So there's 100 cards total. There is 20 cards per pack, or 20 cards per box, five cards per pack. Um, the base set has 150 cards, and then there's 50 short prints, just like they've done in previous years of this product. Um, there's also two autographs per box, and there is actually 149 different autos in the uh, the auto autograph uh, set, so to say, checklist if you want to call it. Um, so there's a lot of good potential names in there, and then there's a lot of meh, so-so names. But, um, you know, we are guaranteed two autographs per box, so we will have four autographs this opening. Um, plus there's other inserts, like there, there's um, Heritage, uh, that's based off of the 1952 uh, uh, design. We should be getting four of those per box, two Hall of Fame gallery cards per box, uh, two modern artists uh, cards per box, four of the Master and Apprentice cards, uh, and then there's uh, also six uh, Rainbow Parallels, and then we should have uh, one private issue also per box. And then uh, these also do uh, some. So with that, you know, open these up, see how these go. So, I mean, we're, we're going to have uh, 40 packs to open. Um, so this... Could be a little bit of a longer video, but granted there are only five cards per pack, so um, it's not too, too bad. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, hopefully we can get a uh, you know a decent name in the autograph. Um, these just came in the mail today, and you know I just wanted to uh, kind of rip this being with it being a brand new product. I haven't personally seen it in the store yet, um, but you know, see what we can go. And then we also do get a uh, oversized uh, box topper uh, as well to a uh, rock box loader. So, uh, you know, like I said, 20 packs. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through these as quick as I can. You know, it's nice seeing, uh, you know, Pete Alonzo on the cover of these as well. Um, you know, with me being a Met fan. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna put that one off to the side and let's see, just like any of the other, you know, 2020 products. Looking for Robert, Bachette, Jordan, Gavin Lux, and uh, you know, any of those other big names. So, so here we go. So this is what the uh, the card looks like. We're gonna start off with the Jake Rogers card. Um, looks, you know, a little similar to the previous years, and then that's what the back looks like. So then we got Josh Vandermeer. Then we have a Jack Flaherty. That should be the rainbow, I believe. Um, you know, sharp looking card. Uh, then we have a uh, one of the Master and Apprentices. We got uh, Pete Alonzo and uh, Jacob DeGrom. So, nice little card there, especially for me, being a uh, Met fan. Um, I know some of those Master Apprentice set, I think there's 10 different cards for, per set. Um, seemed like last year when I opened this product, I kept on pulling that Vlad Jr. one. Um, we got an Alize. You know, not numbered. We got a Mankata. We have a, a Apprentices, uh, Mankata, and then a Stroman. So the Apprentices, yeah, the Apprentices are usually the uh, high numbered. So that's gonna be the short print. Uh, the short print, uh, they are uh, numbered uh, 151 to 200, and then one through 150 uh, are uh, the base cards. So we got the uh, Shogo, Matt Boyd, Brandon McKay, a uh, gallery private issue. Uh, then we have a Modern Masters of Mike Trout, a sharp looking card. Then we got a Severino, and then uh, one of the artists, these are three of the artists that are featured uh, in this product. But the, uh, you know, the Brandon McKay, uh, which is actually also numbered as well, uh, is numbered 151 out of 250, so pretty sharp. So we'll see. Uh, see what else we can kind of pull out of that. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna top load too much on camera because, uh, like I said, I got two boxes. I want to go through both boxes, but then we have uh, Shin Shu Chu. Uh, we have. There we go. We got the Luis Robert. 
you know, which is one of the, the main cards I'm personally looking for. Um, kind of wish that they kind of did the uh, the name though, um, you know, going down the bottom, you know, kind of like that, opposed to how they have a name like this. But um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna really complain about it personally. But uh, you know, it's like I feel like I need to display it that way. But then uh, we got uh, Glaber. And then we have the Master and Apprentices with uh, Roberto Olimar and Beau Bichette. Um, you know, sharp looking card. I mean, you know, I know I'm collecting as much uh, Beau Bichette, um, you know, that I poss possibly can. And then we got uh, Lewis Thorpe to uh, round it out. So we got, uh, you know, a Bichette insert. We got a Robert base. So we got to start off with the uh, Asuna. Then we got Trevor Richards, uh, Justin Upton. Then we have a modern artist of uh, Walker Buehler, looks like. Yep, Walker Buehler. And then Gary Sanchez. So, so far, uh, no autographs yet. Um, let's see, you know, pretty much what we can come up with. We got Pablo Lopez, Jose Altuve. We got another foil of uh, Derek Rodriguez. Not numbered or anything. And then we got Ricky Henderson and Sheldon Noyce. Some of the pictures look pretty good. The Henderson is a short print as well. Um, some of the pictures look pretty nice. Some of the some of the pictures are a little questionable. Um, and I, I know in previous years, um, I don't know so much about this year. I haven't seen too many of them. So we got to start off with Scherzer, but there were some of the paintings that were looking a little tough. But Kelte Marte, Kwang Gung Kim, or Kwang Gung Kim, T.J. Zoltz, uh, Royal uh, foil. And then uh, Dario Aguirre's So I'm still, uh, still looking for autographs. We are uh, supposed to be getting two per box. Um, I opened, I think, two of these size boxes last year. And I'm pretty confident I got all rookies, which I was pretty happy with. Uh, Moreland Hoskins, Sean Murphy. And then here we got the, uh, the 52 design. Scherzer with the green border, which is also numbered. Uh, 94 at a 250 so um, you know nice getting a numbered uh, card as well um, you know the 1990 uh, 1952 design and then you know we got the uh, Manchada or Manchado to uh, and then off. so then we got Jose Barrios we got Dustin May we got Lance McCullers we got uh, John Carlos Stanton this one is not numbered. This is just the regular version. So basically they take it with white, change it with another color. And then we got uh, Logan Webb. Actually put that, put that stack. So I'm gonna try to get through these as soon as I can, um, you know, without going too, too quick. But we got Mike Trout. Then we got the Derek Rodriguez. We got Wilson Contreras. We got some color behind, which is another Horner, uh, another a Horner uh, heritage card. So nice pulling a, a rookie out of that. And then Munoz. So not too bad. Um, you know, myself, I'm always trying to pull, you know, as much rookies as I can. I would like to be able to pull the, uh, there's a Bichette in there. And when I looked at the checklist, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a Robert one, but I don't know for sure. But, you know, here we got Jesus Lazardo, Colin Moran, uh, Krung Young Kim again. Then we have another Master and Apprentice. Uh, looks like uh, Devers and is that, yep, Dave Ortiz. Um, and then we have Christian Yelich. So, uh, about just over halfway through. Still haven't hit either one of our autographs for this box. Um, so, let's see. We got TJ Zoitz, Jack Flatley, uh, Mike Moustakis. We have uh, the Master Apprentice again of uh, Devers and... Uh, Ortiz, just making sure. No, not numbered or anything, but kind of a bummer getting the same insert uh, twice within the same box. Um, it's kind of like one of those things where I just kind of wish, I mean, I'm fine, you know, getting commons, but, uh, you know, you know, I like to see some variety. So we got Zach Gallen, Junior Fernandez, Rafael Devers. We have a Hall of Fame, Mariana Rivera, and Nolan Arnado. Sharp looking card. The Hall of Fame cards, pretty nice. 
And then we have, we have Charlie Blackman. We have uh, Steven Gonslaves. Mike Trout, uh, foil, which is nice. Not numbered or anything. Uh, then we got Nolan Ryan, which looks like it's, but it's just the Masters, uh, which is also a, a short print. And then uh, Shed Long. So, almost through this box, still haven't pulled one of our autographs. Um, so let's see, we sh should be getting pretty close. Abram Toro, Jeff McNeil, AJ Puck. We have a Sandy Koufax Hall of Fame. Not numbered or anything. And then we have a Shohei Otani. All right, now we got Yastrzemski. Bryce Harper, Kyle Freeland, and we have an Aquino uh, rookie uh, for the Heritage. Not numbered or anything like that. So nice getting the uh, the Aquino, and then finish off with the Kyle Lewis base card, which is nice also to pull too. So Kyle Lewis, another guy I'm kind of slowly kind of putting together. So we got. Um, Four packs left, no autographs. Um, hopefully, uh, I know they always say on average, hopefully, you know, I'm not below average. So we got Keyboom, Perez, Keston Hira, Anthony Rendon, a uh, Artisans, and Ryan Yarbrough, which uh, the Rendon is a short print. So three packs to go. The first box. Start off with Zach uh, Luttrell. Mike Clevenger, Wilson Contreras, and here we go. We have our first autograph. We have a uh, Topps Gallery, uh, Nick Birdie. Uh, whoops, sorry. Nick Birdie, Pirates uh, pitcher. It is numbered. <coughs> Excuse me. 59 out of 99. So, numbered autograph. Not a name, per se, that I'm personally looking for, but, um, you know, all in the, you know, still, neither or less. Um, you know, still an autograph. Uh, it's a sticker autograph as well, too. So, um, you know, um, still, you know, it's nice, you know, no, you know, numbered card, too. And then we got Walker Bueller. Two packs left. I've seen a little bit of this opened. Uh, most of the autographs that I've seen pulled haven't been fantastic. But, you know, nevertheless, though, I mean, still, it's, uh, you know, guaranteed autograph. So we got Pete Alonzo, Matt Olson. Uh, Derek Rodriguez again, a foil. And then here's our other one, which is Lewis Thorpe. And then we got uh, JD to finish off, uh, Lewis Thorpe. Uh, this one is not numbered, but, uh, you know, rookie autograph. Uh, another one, nothing uh, nothing real crazy um, autograph-wise. Um, you know, this, this product last year, I was actually able to pull an Austin Riley autograph, which I was pretty excited about, um, you know, this year. So far, nothing too, too crazy. Hopefully the next box will uh, do us better. Uh, then we have Dave Megadon, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., Kyle Tucker. Hey, there we go. We got the Luis Robert, and then we got a Vlad Jr. to finish off that box. So we were able to get the Robert Heritage. Um, you know, this one's not numbered either, but uh, glad to, you know, get this one out of the way, put this uh, toward, uh, you know, all the... Uh, other rear bears that I currently have so so I'm pleased uh, you know pulling that rear then we'll stick that one right behind the base and then I will open up this first uh, box loader uh, it's a five by seven box loader there's a 50 card checklist I believe for this um, it's basically just a larger version of the current cards and we get a Mike Trout one which is very nice Mike Trout, uh, arguably the best player in the game, uh, you know, from New Jersey as well, just like myself. Um, nice, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased pulling the Mike Trout. Um, so with that, you know, we're gonna get into our second box. Just like the other, I will save that. You know, they put these uh, packs in literally side by side, so it's not too bad. Um, they're packed pretty tightly, so it's not too, too bad with the way they're stacked in there. But, uh, so let's go. Box number two. See if uh, we can get some better autographs on that. The box 
Box load I'm not too disappointed with, but we got AJ Puck, uh, Yastrzemski again, Harper, uh, Mark McGuire, uh, Masters, ship, yep, which is a short print, and Yarborough. And pack number two, Trevor Bauer, Christian Walker, Sam Hillard. We have a San, another Sandy Koufax uh, Hall of Fame card and uh, Otani. So we got a duplicate. I believe there was two Hall of Fame gallery cards for each one of these box, and we've already got a duplicate. So we got Mauricio Dubon, Max Muncy, Jacob DeGrom, another uh, John Carlos. But we are able then to get a Kyle Lewis, which is good. Another base Kyle Lewis. Uh, we did not get a base Bichette last go around. Hopefully we can uh, change that luck this time around. And yeah, I'd love to be able to pull another Robert out of this. Um, but then we have Matt Chapman, Cutchin, Kyle Freeland. And here's a, one of our uh, autographs, uh, Framber Valdez uh, for the Astros and Walker Buehler to finish that off. Um, not numbered as well, just like um, just like the uh, the Lewis Thorpe. Um, he had a pretty decent. He pitched pretty decent in the uh, the postseason for the Astros. I mean, he could be a, a nice player uh, going forward for them. Um, yeah, this is her 2009 stats, but um, um, you know, not too too bad. Um, a little better than uh, some of the other ones I've gotten, but uh, still not uh, not one of those big names that are out there in this uh, checklist. But uh, let's see what we can do. We got Joe, uh, Jorge Soler, Alex Bregman, Tommy Kaline, another monster apprentice of the uh, the Beau Bichette, Robert Al Alomar, and then Lewis Thorpe. So. Um, like I said last year, I felt like I, I pulled the Blue Jay one so many times last year. Um, and not that I opened a ton of this product, but it just seemed like it was always I was opening the Blue Jay and the, and the White Sox with uh, Eloy in it last year. But we got uh, Dimitri, uh, Nick Birdie, and uh, James uh, Kenrick. Then we have a modern artist of Lizardo. That's a pretty sharp looking card, actually. Uh, then uh, Gary Sanchez. The, uh, yeah, the Lizardo one's pretty sharp, actually. Um, I think he's going to be somebody good for the uh, the A's as well. But uh, that one's actually pretty sharp. I like these uh, modern artist cards. I don't re I don't recall them last year. Um, so then we got uh, Framber again. We have uh, Robel uh, Garcia. We have a Dustin May foil, uh, which is nice, and a uh, Conforto short print and noise. So uh, Dustin May, not numbered, but uh, you know, sharp looking rookie card. Um, he seemed uh, pretty well in the, uh, the postseason, and I think he's gonna be a great pitcher for the uh, Dodgers going forward. Right, next we have Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., Blake Snell. Uh, we have a private issue. Uh, you get gallery private issue of Matthew Boyd and then Machado again. So the um, Matthew Boyd is numbered uh, 146 out of 250. Okay, next we got Kyle Freeland again, Latrell, Colin Moran, and here's our other autograph, uh, Christian Walker, uh, and then JD Martinez to finish off. So we got our. Um, our uh, four autographs total overall, um, not really names. You know, I was kind of hoping to, to pull out of it. Um, Christian Walker maybe might be the best one out of all of them. Um, but uh, still, um, not who I was looking at to hopefully get. There was some better names, you know, even not, not as high up names, but better names that I would have liked to uh, personally have pulled. But... Um, we got Clevenger, we have uh, Chu, we have, here we go, we got another Robert, we got another Horner, and then uh, Vladimir. So we were able to pull another base of Robert, which is nice. I was uh, definitely trying to pull some more of him. So not bad, we were able to get the, the second Robert. 
And then uh, we did get that Horner again. I, I feel, you know, like the... It's got a little disappointing when even like the inserts you're getting doubles of too. Because sometimes with the inserts, I do try to put together the whole set. But we have Torres, we have Azuna, uh, Latrell again, a foil. We got a Master and Apprentice of Frank Thomas and Luis Robert. And uh, Valer, Valar, excuse me. So, you know, nice getting the uh, Master and Apprentice of these two guys. Big Hurt. You know, he was... Uh, he was a fantastic uh, hitter when he played. So, nice to get that as well. Still looking for a Bo Bichette base, though. I have not, we have not come across the, the Bichette base. Uh, we have Trevor Richards uh, upped in again. We have the Dustin May. That is a private issue. Which, that one is numbered 40 at a 250. Yeah, 40 out of 250, so that's nice. Private issue of uh, Dustin May. I know I just mentioned him previously, you know, being a, a great rookie uh, pitcher for the Dodgers, and he'll be uh, something special, I think, in their uh, their bullpen. Or not their bullpen, their starting rotation, I'd say. I know he pitched out of the pen, uh, you know, this, uh, this postseason, which I know a lot of teams were having uh, players pitch. Um, but then we were able to get the uh, modern artist of... Uh, Yelich, uh, sharp looking card. Uh, then we got Soriano, and then a couple more of the artists that are uh, featured uh, within this product. They throw one of them in per box, I believe. Um, there is a nine total artists, there's three different cards. So, so we got Pablo Lopez, Altuve, Moreland. We have a Justin Verlander Artisans, which is a short print, and then a Stroman. So almost done, um, got about five more packs, looks like. We have uh, Matt Thice, Paul Goldschmidt, Chris Bryant. We have a Chris Bryant back-to-back -back, uh, heritage card. Uh, and then we have Logan Webb to finish that off. We have uh, Henry Raru, Raru, Ryu, excuse me, Carl, uh, Kyle Schwarber. Uh, foil of Berrios. Uh, then we have the Master Apprentice again, and then Christian Yelich. So two boxes, we get three of these. That's kind of one of those things I kind of wish they kind of tried to control a little bit. You know, I mean, I'm fine getting multiple of the Master Apprentices, but it'd be nice just to get, um, you know, a different one. I know there was 10, I believe, in the checklist for the Apprentices. We got a nice uh, Anthony K. Uh, Cesar Hernandez, Marvin Gonzalez, and then, you know, the same two Hall of Fame cards, uh, inserts, you know, um, and then Arenado. So, um, you know, kind of like I was saying, like, you know, the, the inserts have been pretty duplicate just between two boxes. <coughs> I mean, if I know if I, you know, if I open five, six, I would expect more, especially with the Hall of Fame cards. I believe there's 20 cards in that checklist you get two per box so you know if you want to do uh you know the odds and stuff but we have hoskins sean murphy again Berrios again we got a looks like a foil lizardo um and then uh out goes lay but you know i mean it would be nice if i got a little bit more of um you know a little updated you know it seems like they just kind of Packs are just the same over and over again kind of thing. So we got Dustin May, Covers, Lizardo, and then we get Aquino right on uh, target, you know, especially after, you know, opening up, uh, you know, more of uh, this. Um, and then two more packs. Um, still haven't been able to pull a Bichette base, though, but I'm able to pull doubles of uh, multiple uh inserts we got colin moran zach gallon fernandez all right we got another master and apprentice but at least this one's different we got buster posey to end it uh in that pack but we got uh bellinger and lux so at least it's a different one of these not the uh the same uh boston red sock one like i've been getting over and over again and for our final regular card pack uh, we do have one of the box loaders still to open we got devers kluber uh, McCullers Foil, Robinson Cano uh, Artisans, which is one of the short prints, and Shed Long. And last pack to open up on this, we have 
Another oversized box loader, as they call them on these. We have a Juan Soto, sharp looking card player. You know, one of the one of the top players in the National League, playing for the Nationals. Um, you know, top the box toppers. I pulled better of these than I did last year at the couple of them that I opened. Pulling a Trout and a Soto two of the better players in the, in the league. I mean, Trout arguably, you know, number one is an easy argument. Um, Soto, top 10 easily, I would say. Um, you know, I mean, if, I think if he worked on his fielding a little bit better, um, that, and then he'd be easily in that conversation, you know, no doubts, uh, you know, no doubt or anything like that. But, you know, like I said, the, um, <clears throat> you know, the $80 price tag, um, the the autographs not so great overall. I mean, you know, Fram Framber Valdez, um, you know, Lewis Thorpe, uh, Christian Walker, and then the Nick Birdie, which was numbered uh, fifty nine out of ninety nine. Autographs, you know, maybe not so much exciting. We're able to get to Luis Robert base. We got the Master Apprentice uh, card as well, um, and then we were able to get his. Uh, vintage uh, heritage i should say heritage card as well too so able to get four roberts in a two boxes we got the dustin may uh, private issue which was pretty nice um which was 40 at 40 out of 250 but i mean overall i uh, i can't say i'm that crazy about this product especially with opening up two boxes getting all those duplicates of the uh the inserts um I don't know. I, I don't know how much more of this I'll be opening. I might grab a blaster um, if I do find any in the store. Um, maybe a fat pack or two. This is something I'm not going to be, I probably won't be opening too much of. Uh, more I doubt I'll be buying any more of the uh, the the, uh, the boxes like this with the uh, the two guaranteed autographs just because the, uh, you know, the autographs overall, you know, not too too great but um overall though i mean some decent rookies and stuff like that so i was happy overall i was pleased overall with a lot of the stuff that i did get so so with that i want to thank everybody for watching uh leave any comments you know how do you feel about tops gallery did you guys open this were uh, your boxes you know kind of rough like mine with the uh, the autographs um if you haven't subscribed i'd appreciate it if you subscribe um you know hit that notification bell so you know when i go when i have any uh, videos that get uploaded and uh, please leave a like so with that i want to thank everybody for watching and take care